Welcome back guys to the Team Boss channel. Today we're going to be killing Kraken. Um, he was definitely like one of the harder bosses for us to fight against. Uh, Lich wasn't that bad. You could probably run through Lich, but Kraken is more of like an overtime kill. You kind of can't get away with just running up on him. Uh, I Sage main. And most of the time you can't use magic. Uh, it just takes too long to cast sometimes. And he does a lot of unblockables and he rushes towards you. He has pretty good variety of attacks that cover a couple of different ranges. We'll talk about them. Uh, the main thing you want to be worried about is when he does squish and the tentacle flip. Things like spinning blast that he did right there is easily um, counterable. Rush is just a absorb and a move to the side. Water laser you want to move towards and absorb it. That way you can get some free damage in while he's still in that stance. His normal attacks are not that bad. Um, you can get away with not doing pretty much anything during his normal attacks. You just dodge away. You do want to take advantage of the ink because it provides him with a debuff. So immediately shoot that back to him. The only thing you're worried about, like I said, is uh, when he flips. You don't want to move away from him because he covers an extreme amount of distance. When you move away from him, you want to move towards him. That's that spinning blast you want to run towards and absorb, and the water spray you want to run towards and absorb. Squish is heavy damage, and the flip is heavy damage. Uh, don't worry too much about the environmentals. I mean, as long as they're not really hitting you, um, don't try to use it to hit them. They don't really stun him for an extended period of time, so you, it's not like you're getting a strong benefit out of it. Same as last time. Uh, don't waste potions on reviving like members of your team. Just use them for yourself because he does so much damage. Like you can't revive them and heal you. It's not you just don't have enough. Rush is an absorb and move to the side. For example, um, embrace doesn't do that. It's an unblockable. Doesn't do that much damage. It's not going to be like detrimental if you get hit by it, but the tentacle crush, you definitely don't want to get hit by it. Tentacle crush is ridiculous. It covers the entire map basically. And then like I said, for the first um, phase, it's pretty much rinse and repeat. He doesn't do too much outside of what I've already mentioned. And I was thinking back on this, um, Breaker would have probably been a good class to use for this because of the uh, one slash that you get and you're only getting about two to three hits in. Uh, he's basically like a hit and run boss. Can't really stay in the pocket and fight him. But, I mean you can, but there's definitely, uh, it's just safer to do it this way. This is the safer way I found. I mean, I had success when I was using Sage, but like I said, not, not enough to where I felt comfortable in all the situations. This is probably the easier route to take, using someone that's going to be a little bit more tanky. Because like I said, this man is heavy handed. <laughs> he, he does all the damage. I think in the uh, Tiamat fight, we only had to deal with like try disaster and that was the only thing that was just consistently a one shot this man can just pile on the damage like the moment you fall it's basically over he'll just stack damage on you you can't get knocked down too much in this fight there we go now we're on to the second phase uh, when we get to the second phase but you guys can see he'll add two moves it'll be tsunami where he goes underwater and you just have to keep track of him and stay away from where he jumps out and then he adds a bubble where you just it's about two to three uh soul blocks and that's it it's not even very damaging but you don't want to be hit by it and it's a pretty simple uh mechanic to overcome 
and there's the tsunami. Like I said, you just stay away from where he spawns at, from where he goes underneath the board, and then you won't have any trouble with that move. Everything else is pretty much the same. It's just a rinse and repeat at this point. But um, I'll let you guys watch the rest of the gameplay. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, our goal is 200 subscribers right now. We're getting pretty close. Thanks for all the support. Peace. I'll let you guys finish up. Enjoy.